In this video, I will demonstrate to you how to start a print-on-demand t-shirt business so that you can make money online and provide yourself with passive income through the new possibilities that AI provides and thanks to your innovation and thirst for development. Before we start creating a t-shirt design, it is good to do a short analysis of the market, which niche is suitable, what slogans are liked and so on. You can use different tools for this, such as Merch Informer, but since it's a paid tool and I'm just starting out, I'll just use ChatGPT, being an Etsy for now. First I will ask for information on niche markets. What are the best niches to start a print-on-demand t-shirt business? I will look at the result and choose a niche market. I will ask Bing the same question to compare the results. ChatGPT offers me niches in the field of sports, pop culture, hobbies and interests, pets and animals, causes and social issues. Bing added more interesting niches for me, jokes, family and relationships, location and travel, jobs and professions. What both chatbots offer me is a pets and sports niche, so I will definitely try those niches. But now I would like to get more information about jokes from Bing and pop culture from ChatGPT. I will ask about. Please give me sub niche for pop culture. Choosing nostalgic pop culture. Can you give me five t-shirt design ideas, including style, colors, environment, without text? And here, ChatGPT gave me five design ideas that I can directly use in some text to image generator, retro arcade game design, classic cartoon design, vintage movie poster design, retro TV, show design, vintage toy design. Moving on, choosing gaming. Can you give me five t-shirt design ideas, including style, colors, environment, without text. Okay, I'll use that too. Similarly, I collect information about possible designs for internet culture and rock and roll music. The next thing I asked was, can you give me 10 t-shirt slogan for nostalgic pop culture in four words? Okay, great. Thus, I collected slogans for the other niches to try out as well. And now I'll ask Bing to please give me sub niche for jokes. First it gave me three niches, dad jokes, dark humor nerd jokes. After asking for more, I got three more niches pop culture jokes, political jokes, sarcastic jokes. I go on, choosing nerd jokes, can you give me five t-shirt design ideas, including style, colors, environment, without text. I will also ask about the slogans. Can you give me 10 t-shirt slogan for nerd jokes in four words? I think this is enough to start creating the design for my first print on demand t-shirts. I go to Etsy to see what the top selling t-shirts look like and I search for nostalgic pop culture t-shirts. Then I run the same search on Amazon. And now I'm going to run a search for rock and roll t-shirts.
I will also check out the products on Etsy. I run the same search rock and roll t-shirts. Then from sort by I select top customer review. What I aim to do is see what the top selling t-shirts look like that are similar to the themes I want to use. The next thing I'm going to do is create some t-shirt designs. To create the designs, I will be using Midjourney AI. Now I'm going to run these prompts that ChatGPT gave me. Imagine prompt, retro arcade game design, a design that features classic arcade games from the 80s and 90s, such as Pac-Man, Space Invaders, or Donkey Kong. The design could be a pixel art style, with bold colors and a neon palette to evoke the look and feel of an old-school arcade environment. And now I'm going to run the same prompt, but to be generated with version 4 of Midjourney. This is from version 5, I like the second and fourth images, so I'll choose upscaling and then save. This is from the fourth version, I'll keep the third image. Here are some other results I got using chat GPT prompts directly. It turned out some remarkably good images that I really like and will be using. Okay, now I can move on to image processing. You can use Photoshop, but I'll use Canva because it's the easiest to work with. Therefore, I will finalize my designs in Canva. I choose to create a new project, print area size 4500 by 4500 pixels. This is the recommended size for Amazon in pixels for processing in Canva, and it is also suitable for all other platforms. The next thing I do is upload all my images. And I begin to arrange them. First I'll remove the background, then I'll choose a suitable tagline. Before using slogans, it is a good idea to check for copyright. I will do this on the USA trademark site. The first slogan I will check is, one more level, please. And the result is that no test records were found to match the criteria of my query. Okay so I can use it. 
The following slogan, Rock On, World Off, is also free to use. As well as Game On, World Off. Play all day this phrase is preserved in several trademarks. Those who are dead we need not check. Also, the ones that are alive, if they don't apply to t-shirts or clothes, we could also use. I will check each one separately. Here I open the information for this brand and see that it refers to card games, manipulative games, educational card games, memory games, party games, tabletop games, tabletop games, board games, stuffed and plush toys, action figure toys, plush toys, stuffed toys, i.e. not intended for clothing, t-shirts or textiles. And this one here refers to dietary supplements for pet arthritis, hip and joint pet dietary supplements. But this trademark here is expressly for clothing, namely shirts, t-shirts, headwear. Therefore, I will not use this play all day slogan in my design. This way I check all the slogans I plan to use. I've already checked which slogans I can use, and I'm proceeding with arranging the designs in Canva. For t-shirts, the recommended minimum font size is 24 points and the minimum line weight is 2 points. For sweatshirts, the recommended minimum font size is 48 points and the minimum line weight is 3 points. When I'm satisfied with the result, I'll download the file in PNG format. The file must be no larger than 25 megabytes.
Okay. I already have four designs that I like and I'll take them down one by one. The next step is to improve the quality of the images. I need to increase them to at least 4000. What I use to upscale AI art is AI Image Upscaler or Pixelcut.ai. Okay, now I'm ready to post the designs. In a future video, I'll show you how to upload your print-on-demand products to Merch Amazon. In order to sell through Merch Amazon, you need to have previously registered, provided data for tax purposes, and waited about 14 days for approval. The place I'll be uploading my designs to sell print-on-demand today is Printify. You can use Printify for free to serve up to five stores with an unlimited number of products to publish. Once you've added your products, from here you can directly connect Printify to other stores such as Etsy and Shopify. Another very relevant store is Redbubble. I'll make a separate video just for that place as well. From here you can choose different products to sell print on demand with your designs. But today I'm going to show you specifically how to post a t-shirt design. You can browse the different suppliers, getting information on prices, color palette and more. I choose a supplier and continue by selecting the Start Designing button. You can design the front and back of the t-shirt separately. You can attach the design from my device. From Select you can choose the colors of the t-shirt. In this case, I will only make a black t-shirt because my image has a black background. I choose Save Products and continue. Here I get information about available sizes and prices. If you have a link to ready-made shops on Etsy or Shopify, you'll have the option of additional settings, but I'll show you what's next if you're new to creating those links. I choose Connect a Store. From here, Printify links to the Etsy and Shopify store. When you start a Shopify store, the first thing you need to do is choose a payment plan. To connect Printify to Shopify, you need to enter the domain name in Shopify.
when the link is ready, we return to Printify, and we can now finish the product description. I am editing the name, description, adding the size chart to be visible in the description. I will also link up with Etsy after that. This is what my product looks like, now on Etsy. It is very important to know that when you first publish from Printify to Etsy, it is necessary, after you create the product in Printify, and after you connect your Etsy shop, you open your product in the Etsy platform, and add some things that are missing in the product description. Scroll down to Listing Details. In the Who Made It drop-down menu, select another company or person. Next. Scroll down to Production Partners and click Add a new production partner. To create a new production partner, enter the following details about Printify. Production Partner, Printify. Location, United States of America. About Production Partner, a production partner. About your partnership, select. I don't have the technical ability to make it entirely by myself. I design everything myself and they do everything for me. Save the production partner and check the box to indicate that you're using this partner. Save the changes you've made to the product by clicking publish. This is done once and then your products will automatically be published. I'll leave those directions in the description for this video. And that's it. I now have two stores that I sell through, one on Etsy and the other on Shopify. To promote the products you sell, you can link them on social networks or on Pinterest. Also, you can use the same design for different products t-shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, phone cases. Friends, don't miss out on latest canal content. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.